Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got a quiet Sunday coming up with little, if anything, to worry about in the way of rain, unfortunately, and we could definitely and desperately use some. We've seen, again, some very quiet conditions out across much of the Mid-South. We'll take a look at Almanac information coming up here in just a little bit, which unfortunately does not have all that good of news. And if you haven't heard just yet for right now, we have numerous counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area that are under burn bands. Not all of them in the News Channel 3 viewing area. Starting to see a lot more of them out there. We'll talk more about this coming up in just a little bit. And looking again at baseball weather across parts of the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the day. So stay tuned. We'll talk more about that. Forecast at the bottom of your screen in the red bars. 70s today. A little warmer than yesterday. And then back into the 50s for later on tonight. So a little bit on the cool side as we head into very early tomorrow morning. So getting the kids out to the bus stop. You may want to think about a windbreaker or a jacket just to be on the safe side but otherwise a very dry day coming up and we'll talk about that as our main focus in just a little bit T currently for the quick forecast if you're heading out the door pretty soon round of golf yard work church sunday school whatever you got going on into the next few hours temperatures rising rapidly through about the mid to upper 60s by mid to late morning. By the time we get into around the early afternoon hours, temperatures will be peaking in the mid to upper 70s. So a very warm day out there, but pretty typical for this time of the year, at least fairly close anyway. Numbers back in the mid to upper 70s. Again, we should be in the lower 70s at, the, at this time of the year, mid to late October, but looks like it's going to be even warmer than that out there for right now. Big weather story of the day. If you have not heard about this, and you can check out more information about this at WREG.com slash weather for more information. The National Weather Service in Memphis has stated that the weather across the Mid-South is going to be, again, volatile for the development of anything involving wildfire. So we're looking at a possible high wildfire risk throughout the rest of the day today. We've got very dry conditions across the area. The vegetation is getting drier, and all it's going to take is one spark to set off a very major grass fire that's going to encompass a lot of work, a lot of money, may be endangering life and property. Now, as of right now in Arkansas, we do have six counties, according to the Arkansas Forestry Division, that are under burn bans, none of which at this time, as you can see on our map, is under any of those burn bans at this point. So for eastern Arkansas, there's little, if anything, going on for us directly here. Cross County was under a burn ban, but now that apparently has been rescinded at this point in time, we have all the counties of Mississippi in the viewing area under burn bans at this time. So if you're in Mississippi, if anywhere from around Alcorn to Quitman counties, Coahoma to Benton, DeSoto, Lafayette, Panola, everybody is under a burn ban at this time according to the State Forestry Division. That information also available at WREG.com. Now for Tennessee, we do not have anything in the way of burn bans listed at this time and nor will we be seeing anything unless those get issued on a case-by-case as needed basis. Tennessee does not issue burn bans specifically. If something does happen to where burn bans are necessary, and that may be the case over the next several days unless something changes with rainfall, as of right now, we're going to be seeing dry conditions out there, but no burn bans are currently in effect so far as we know. If you are going to be planning on doing anything like fireworks or burning of yard waste, which is not the best idea, anything like that involving fire or flame, barbecue pit, anything like that, anywhere across the area, you should call and check with the fire department or your local forestry division website. And that, again, is going to be one of the best things you can possibly do. Rainfall, nothing to talk about. We're behind for right by an inch and a half plus for the entire month. We could use a lot more. We do have a lot of rainfall for the entire year. There's no question about that. We're looking again at a a rainfall surplus of over 10 inches of rainfall uh, to be seen for the year. We got most of that back in February and March, so it was very easy to see where that rainfall came from. But as of right now, there is little, if anything, to really kind of worry about at this point where it comes to anything involving rainfall that is going to be stacking up for us anytime soon. Temperature yesterday, 44 for a low, 71 for a high. A little bit on the cooler side than where we should be. 89, the record high set for today back in 1939, and 30, the record low set back in 1952. So when you have a nearly 60 degree temperature difference, you know that you're definitely in October in the Mid-South. Rest of the day today, temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s by lunchtime, early to mid-afternoon, mid to upper 70s throughout the rest of the afternoon hours, and then dropping by the time we hit sunset just after 6 o'clock tonight. And winds will be out of the southwest. It'll be a great day for outdoor activity. 
activities, no question about that. But as of right now, definitely going to be thinking about the idea of making certain that you stay safe out there when it comes to anything involving fire or flame. That barbecue pit, you're going to have to keep an eye on that and have some water ready just in case. By the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures will be in the upper 50s to lower 60s, cooling off into the Mid-South overnight. And by the time Todd Demers is on the air with the forecast tomorrow morning, we may see some cloud cover working its way in from out west. It doesn't look like that much, and in fact, it's probably not going to be, but some of those clouds could make their way into the area by early tomorrow. The main thing for tomorrow is going to be the temperatures with numbers early tomorrow morning going to be going back into around the lower 50s into around portions of West Tennessee, Northeast Mississippi. So as the kids get out for the school bus stop, that could be something that could be a bit of a problem. Jacket or a windbreaker, a very good idea. Mid to upper 70s today, lower 50s tonight, upper 70s tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. We have two cold fronts that are going to be coming across the area into the next couple of days. The first one is going to be making its way through on Tuesday. But once again, because we have very dry air in place across much of the Mid-South, the chances of anything involving rainfall is going to be basically goose eggs. Now the next one comes through. Wednesday night into Thursday. That one, we do see again the potential for some showers. Just some, nothing huge. Chances of rainfall will be best by early Thursday morning around commute time, and that's going to be about as good as it gets. But unfortunately, as we go throughout the course of the rest of this next week, we should be seeing again little of anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms that's going to help to get us anything in the way of relief from the fire situation and that will continue right on in through Halloween which right now is looking pretty good through the day mid to upper 70s and by the time the ghosts and goblins hit the streets temperatures should be in the lower 70s to upper 60s so almost perfect trick-or-treating weather as we get into the end of October coming up fairly soon. Check out the forecast throughout the weekend on the EAB network, East Arkansas Broadcasters Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3. And check out my forecast available tomorrow morning on Talkback Live and on Memphis in the Morning, available with Bob and Josh on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio. If you got any pictures weather-wise, tweet them to me, and we'll put them on Facebook and everybody else so you can see them. Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Aonic no underscore WREG3 on Instagram and Austin Onik WREG on Facebook. Also, don't forget about our app available at your particular app store. Search WREG Weather. We'll keep you updated on the chances of rainfall in our evening forecast. We have football tonight, which will put us on pretty much on the late side. The late edition will be News Channel 3 at 10 or probably just after that, depending on how long football decides to go out there. We'll bring you updates on that. You can watch on anytime or WREG.com and click on the Watch Now button. You can see the newscast that was repeated from earlier, or you can catch the next one coming up later on. We'll have details on the complete forecast. We'll have updates at WREG.com, so tune in for that, and we'll have updates of course on the burn ban situation as well throughout the rest of the day tonight and the rest of the week so please be use a lot of caution and common sense out there from the downtown memphis area at the news channel 3 studios i'm meteorologist austin onick thanks for joining me for today's edition of news channel 3's exclusive video weather blog weather overtime